This video is about the residue and residue theorem. Now we have seen that complex analysis makes it easy to solve definite integrals which are complex, really complex to solve in real analysis. So now this residue and residue theorem will make it more easy to solve like now we will solve those definite integral more easily. So how this residue and residue theorem help us to solve those integrals we will see in this video. First let us see what is a residue. Now I have shown you the Taylor series and Lorentz series. You will ask why you shown Taylor series and Lorentz series in complex analysis to us because I don't think it will have any application right. It have. The Lorentz series have an extraction of a residue thing. It is a special case of a n which helps us to solve many kind of tough integral questions. So now let's extract what is residue from the Lorentz series. We know that this is the Lorentz series. This is the expression for f z expansion of Lorentz series. We know this and we know that the value of a n is this. Now for a special case when n is equal to minus 1 this term will vanish this will give us 1. So when n is equal to minus 1 we have this. Now the integral of this is equal to 2 pi i multiplied by a minus 1 and this a minus 1 thing this is very important. We have to find this in many types of integrals. So this is really important. This thing multiplied by 2 pi i gives us the value of the integral. So we just have to find this and we have the solution for the integral. So this is what is a residue. So now we will see what is a residue theorem. So take a look at this expression. This is saying that if there is a circle and this is the Taylor series expansion and its center is A and the residue at A is A minus 1 and A will be a singularity because Z equal to A gives no defined value of A n. So A will be a singularity. So residue is similar like finding a pole. When we solve pole we multiply by Z minus A that function and do the derivative things. Similarly we will find residues for that you will see that later in the videos. So if there is a singularity at A and A minus 1 is the residue there then the integral along that curve C F Z D Z will be equal to 2 pi I multiply by the residue at that point. Now let's see what is the residue theorem. This is just the expanded version of this. Now we will not have only one singularity, we will have many singularities. So now let fz be a single valued and analytic inside and on a simple closed curve C except that the singularities A, B, C inside C which have residues A minus 1, B subscript minus 1, minus 1 is the subscript C minus 1. Then residue theorem states that integration along that curve f z d z is equal to 2 pi i times the sum of all residues at those points. I have just generalized it to infinite residues but you will have like 5 or 6 singularities then you have to find the residues at those singularities add them multiply by 2 pi i you will have the integral value. So this is the residue theorem. So that's it for this video. In the next video we will prove this theorem. How to prove this theorem? This theorem is very easy to prove. It have learned two or three line proof. And this theorem have really good applications in solving definite integral questions. So thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything.